The BBC has been hit by a wave of bias accusations after its Europe editor Katya Adler claimed Boris Johnson had berated the EU in the AstraZeneca vaccine row. Furious Twitter users were quick to hit back at Ms Adler's claims, saying they had not witnessed the Prime Minister treating the EU in such a manner, but rather he had refused to be drawn on the dispute. Some accused her of displaying a lack of impartiality in her social media posts. Ms. Adler retweeted a Politico article that claimed Britain was restricting exports to the EU of around 100 medicines that could be used to treat COVID patients. She tweeted, while people everywhere suffer and die from COVID the vaccine dispute between governments and with pharmaceutical companies is getting uglier and exposing hypocrisy. The EU lectured the world about vaccines for all, and now is considering an export ban on vaccines. But while the Johnson government berates the EU, the UK has banned the export of over 170 medicines needed for British patients included dozens reportedly used in treating COVID patients. A flurry of tweets from social media users followed, with many claiming she was biased in her assessment of the situation. Speaking at a Downing Street press conference on Tuesday, Mr Johnson sidestepped a question from a reporter on whether the UK would consider imposing an export ban on vaccine supplies, saying, "Ill stick to my lines. Mr Johnson added, the Oxford, AstraZeneca vaccine is obviously very important for our country and for the world and the matter in question is for our friends in the EU and AstraZeneca. Twitter user Daniel Kremen responded to Ms. Adler's tweet, saying, blatant editorialization here. When exactly has the Johnson government berated the EU over its ludicrous behavior towards AstraZeneca on vaccines? The government's response has been calm and diplomatic. Johnson sidestepped being drawn into the story when talking to journalists. He added, I've complained on the grounds of editorialization and a lack of due impartiality, a journalist displaying personal political bias with baseless claims. A second man, named Mark, said, the Johnson government is not berating the EU. Been remarkably calm actually. And a third, named Carl Reed, tweeted, I'm very sorry Katya, I usually think you're very balanced and fair but this seems wrong.